Hey guys, Henry from Omnibus Tutorials here, and today we're going to talk about if statements. And we're going to pick up where we left off, helping my brother with his budget. Now, what he's looking to do is get the most uh, accurate number he can. So, if they've actually been given that amount of money or for that uh, for that line item in the budget, we're going to use that. But if there is no actual, we're going to use the allocated. So this is a great example of when to use an if statement. So an if statement, like most all functions, have what's called arguments. And the arguments for an if statement is going to be a first argument is what's called a logical test. Now what is a logical test? It's any condition that you want to test or try. So to, a pretty simple example would be 100 is greater than or equal to 80. And that's going to retur return true. And that's where this value of true comes in. You can make it say text. Um, when you use text, you have to use quotation marks. And you can say value of false. You can say, oh, um, you can also use text. You can use a number. So where it comes in really handy is when you can use cell references instead of actual numbers. That way you can use Excel's autofill, which makes it a very robust tool. So we're going to click in the cell and see it in action. We're going to hit equals. If and I'm gonna hit tab. And the logical test here, as you can see, is in bold. My logical test is going to be if this is equal to zero, if that's true, we're gonna give them that. We're gonna get the allocated amount. But if the value is false, if if there is something there, and it is something there because it's not zero, because that's a false statement, we're gonna use that cell there. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to give me 135 just like I wanted. And I can drag it down while holding and left click. But I can use Excel autofill, which I can just double click and send it down. My scrolls me a little funky, but we can see here it's not equal to zero, so we're going to use that amount. And those can vary. So that's a great example of how to use text. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you subscribe.